always know dialing 911 during an emergency is something we are all familiar with but what if your emergency leaves you unable to talk a new emergency alert app called Rescue is designed to connect people directly to certified emergency dispatchers, and it launches right here in San Diego today. Paulo Piscatelli is a San Diego and the CEO of Rescue, and he's joining us right now to talk about this app. First of all, Paulo, I'm glad you're here, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm having a little trouble hearing you, so as they can continue to try to connect the audio here, I do want to ask you, how does Rescue work? So rescue is the fastest way to get help during an emergency. Uh, there's a, our private dispatch center uh, is located here in San Diego, California, and we dispatch police, fire, and medical ambulance responders nationwide. So there's a full team behind the app and the service as well. What was the inspiration behind you developing this, Paulo? So it actually, rescue began for a cry for help. We had been in public safety and private security. I grew up in that industry. Um, my father called 911 about four years ago, uh, and it took over a half an hour for the ambulance to uh, show up. Uh, they couldn't understand him. He couldn't understand them. Um, and it was mainly just a medical emergency. He was in such severe pain. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's an East Coast guy that moved out here to San Diego, had no problem talking his whole life. And um, something happened with the phone connection. Something come. happened between asking questions and then he was hunched over for pain. It was just so excruciating. Um, it, it took him a long time to get services. So what we wanted to do is no questions asked. It didn't matter if you had the ability to speak or not, or if you're in uh, uh, a kidnapping situation, abduction situation, you have the ability to press a button on your phone and get help when you need it fast. So would this be something that I would then text with the dispatcher service to let them know what's happening to me, or are they able to track my phone? It's optional. So all the information is preloaded in your account through Rescue. Uh, we also know your location. You can send it to your, your mom's house, your dad's house, your business, your school, uh, or you can send it to your current location. Uh, and you have the option of communicating with the dispatcher if you're able to. If you're not able to communicate with the dispatcher, that's okay. All your information is preloaded uh, into the app in the service, and then the emergency responders know exactly what's going on. Our professional dispatchers carry that information in a handoff for you. So it certainly comes in handy with somebody who's not able to use their voice to communicate with a dispatcher. But if you are able to use your voice, is it faster to just to then call 911? Is there any lag time in using rescue is my question. There is not. The way that the technology is designed um, and the way that we've engineered it is actually it's, it's, it's incredibly fast. Uh, it's fast international and also it's very fast uh, locally um, stateside. Uh, the reason why it's also not slower than 911 is because, again, your name, your address, your telephone number, your contact information, your medical history, anything about um, your home or infrastructure is pre-communicated before the emergency. During an emergency, during a cardiac or a stroke is not the time to ask somebody, mm -hmm. where is your closest cross street? We're flat out of time here, but really quickly, what's the cost of using this app? It's $5 a month uh, to end users. It's live on the App Store and Google Play Store. Paolo Piscatelli, the creator and CEO of Rescue App. We do appreciate your time. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Heather. Thank Have a great you. day.